Hi, it's Susan Woodcock at Workroom Tech, and I wanted to show you this hem that I use for straight box pleated balances, or straight gathered balances, and also for dust ruffles. To do this, I have the face fabric and lining fabric sewn together um, face to face. If I was using inner lining, I would have that behind the face fabric. But I'm just using lining here for this sample. I've sewn a seam at what I want the hem to be. So for this, I'm doing um, a one inch hem. You could certainly do a bigger hem, which would look better on something like a box pleat balance, where you'd look from underneath and you don't want to see the white lining. But for this sample, I have a one inch hem, so I would allow two inches extra of the face fabric in the cut, and then sewn a one inch seam with the lining fabric, I'm going to turn that right sides out, making sure that the seams are going towards the face fabric, and then press that. Now to make sure that I have a nice, neat, even edge, I'm going to do a pillowcased edge. And to do that with this style of a hem, I'm going to bring the face fabric back on top of that seam like this. So that needs to come down just a little bit more. And so that's how it's going to get sewn. So let me show you that again. The face fabric has the hems pressed towards the face fabric. This comes down over, leaving the bottom edge even with the seam allowance, which is a big seam allowance because that's going to be a hem. And then I'm going to sew a half inch seam right down this edge. So I have one of those finished. I can bring that to show you. So there's, um, I actually marked that with a purple marker. There's the original seam and there's the seam that I sewed in that pillowcased edge with this fabric brought over on top of the hem. And then I like to clip this little corner off and turn right sides out. And you get this really neat bottom corner without any bulk or fullness. So you can press it really straight and clean. And normally, um, if I need to, I'll stick a little chopstick or a purple thing up in there, but that one turned perfectly. So see the reveal that you get on the back? And the fabrics are going down into the bottom. And then it's just a matter of giving this a nice press and pressing that pillowcased edge on the side. I'll just sort of pull that down with my fingers. And that gives you a beautiful finished edge so that when this return comes around on the box pleat balance, it looks lovely. <laughs> and it doesn't use a lot of fabric either. I hope that you'll find this tip for making box pleat balances helpful. Thank you for listening to the podcast and for viewing the blog today. Bye.